hello everyone and welcome back to my channel if you're seeing my face for the very first time hi welcome my name is adora and you're watching life with adabe k don't forget to like this video comment share subscribe all of those amazing things so that you can keep in touch and see what more content i have in store for you if you're one of my returners one of my ogs thank you so much for continuing to watch my videos if you're new here please let me know in the comments what brought you here and you know what kinds of things you would like to see from me in this channel okay oh If you guys are seeing me, I want to believe that you watched the part one. If you haven't watched the part one, please pause this video, go watch the part one, and then come back to this part two, okay? So in this video, I want to be talking about my mind-brain behavior block, the part two of it. So like I had talked about in the last video, I had talked about it in the last video, but in that, um, in that video, I talked about how like our mind-brain behavior is 12 weeks like of clerkship, where six weeks is psychiatry, six weeks is neuroradiology. In the neuroradiology, four weeks is neuro, two weeks is radiology. And I spoke about the neuroradiology part in the part one. So this video is dedicated to the psychiatry block. In our psychiatry block, there were four options of which you could get three options, three options to rotate through to two weeks each, right? So the options were consult service so psych consult service psych inpatient service a psych ed and outpatient i got everything except outpatient and unfortunately like outpatient tends to be chillest one guess what i did not get the chillest one okay why <laughs> it is what it is but we move okay we survived it so i did i started out with two weeks of consult service then i did two weeks in our psychiatric ed and then i ended up with two weeks in our psych inpatient unit okay so when i started psych so psych was my last rotation so i was kind of anybody who has rotated any med students can quote me like they can back me up here because rotations are tough and those last rotations like you are literally digging into like any or your reserve that you have to survive. I really had to dig and dig and dig. And so I want to tell you guys what the pros of being on psych is. Do you know what? If I say, I want to say that I don't think it's right for people to start rotations on psych. Hear me out. This is why. Because the psych people are such nice people. The residents, so they are, I feel like they are so nice that they give you an unrealistic expectation of what everybody else in the hospital is going to be so if you start on psych you're going to think that everybody else is going to be this nice and it's not true <laughs> these psych people were so genuinely like amazing human beings like i was like okay this is a nice way to end because i don't suffer suffer suffer, suffer. <laughs> at least let me come and meet like the nice people in the hospital i felt like the res everybody from the residents to the attendings just it was just so genuinely like nice like and i'm not going to say i've not i've not met nice people in other rotations but i think aside speeds um i found that maybe in rotations you might meet one person who's nice two people who are nice but like not like the entire department is filled with angels <laughs> like so that's how i felt i really felt like the psych the people on psych were just amazing people and as a result i found that they really wanted to teach everybody from their attendings like i learned so freaking much like I learned so much like I really was able to get like as in from the rest everybody was just like they really really ah. let me tell you guys something eh when you go to med school you go to med I don't like you go to med school to learn but I cannot like it's crazy how much non-teaching happens at the hospital sometimes that when you are actually being taught you appreciate it like when someone is actually like we all of the psych attendants would, on inpatient service would literally sit us down and go like he went through different things or how to identify different diseases like the psych because psych farm is like one of the like hardest farm as in i would say so like sitting us down and like trying to make it make sense to us like it just it really helped like it really helped i can't even explain it really really helped like so i really love that they wanted to teach you guys, the food, the food, 
let me tell you so in psych right we used to have um what's this thing called grand rounds every tuesday and then i think every other friday there was journal club you know they used to give us food at all these events now let me there is i'm not going to say the irritation but there's the irritation that we used to go for their their what's it called not their grand round but like their journal club and that rotation, they would give food. They would be food though. But the food was only for the residents. So we, the medical students, would just be watching them as they are eating. You guys. So when I came to psych and there was food, like, and the food was nice. It was more, it was a pizza. You know, you're going to use pizza. When you're in med school, pizza. <laughs> pizza will start growing out from somebody's stomach. But, like, the fact that there was even food and it was open to us, the med students, like, we are not outcasts <laughs> on the rotation. Ah. Me, I was like, wow, I feel welcome. There was coffee that was open for us. Like, you go, oh, they were like, oh, go grab coffee. They would always make sure you ate. They would ask you, like, have you had lunch? Oh, come on, no, you guys go have lunch, go have lunch. Like, I was like, eh? Hey, voila. <laughs> Please. I was like, ah, wow. <laughs> it's giving princess treatment. <laughs> because other rotations don't even care. Like, other rotations, it's like maybe there might be a resident that is looking out for you, but it's not like the culture of the department to care. <laughs> so that was very, very like, wow, thank God. Dude. Then psych has the best schedule in the hospital. <laughs> because even the earliest I had to come in for psych, the earliest I had to be there was 8 o'clock. Like, that was the earliest. 8 o'clock. For comparison. Surgery when I was on surgery, I used to come by 5 45. Most other rotations, I think OBI is coming by 6 30. Um, PEDS 6 30, medicine 7, psych 8. I was like, eh, me. Then when I was on ED, I used to even come in by, we used to come in by 9. Like, <laughs> I was like, eh, is this life? So, and then you were always out before 5 or by 5 at the latest because they go home at 5. <laughs> They go home and, as in psych is the, they are the only people in this in the whole hospital that actually work in nine to five. Like they are the only ones. Like they are the only ones. Like even their residents for the most part. Like obviously you know if they need to finish up something, but they actually kind of work in nine to five. So I was like, wow, seriously, eh? hey, voila. <laughs> so they had an awesome now, schedule. Con. I love that. My first con. Before I go into the cons. Please don't forget to like this video, share, comment, subscribe. Let me know in the comments what has surprised you so far with what I said. Have you done a psych rotation? Have you done anything in psych? Is what I'm saying true or is it not true? Tell me in the comments, okay? Okay. So now let's go into the cons. My first con was our psych ED. So a lot of hospitals just have um, an ED and psych patients come into the ED. But us, we have a psychiatric ED. So when we have patients who are like you call them like coming in hot essentially like they're just coming in straight off like either from like home maybe they are brought in by the police anything like they're coming they come into our psych ed which i felt like it's very nice that we have a psych ed because like this ed is just dedicated to like handling patients with like mental um any kind of like mental issues any kind of mental problems but for me and nowhere in the hospital f had felt like I felt like I had to watch my back. Like because everywhere is like elopement risk. Er, this one, that one. Like I just felt so scared in the psych ED. And maybe I, I think maybe it's me because I just didn't have. I don't feel like I had the proper attitude towards being in the psych ED. Even though I was really excited to be in the psych ED, I don't think I had the proper attitude because I felt like maybe if I had like a more like. I was just, I was just scared, like the entire time, like because of the way it was set up, like it just felt so scary. And it was, I think another thing was the, that ED was very overstimulating. Like there are people like shouting, some people are banging on walls. Like it was just, I was just like, like just, I was just like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Like the whole time I was just very anxious. And they give you a lot of responsibility. Like they feel very confident about your ability, which I was like, I then I would be doubting myself because I'm like, why do you feel so confident in my ability? And then it made me even more nervous. So I felt like I had a lot of anxiety working on the psych ED. 
like there was a lot of anxiety then kind of piggybacking of that just generally i felt like scared like even on the normal floors it took me a while and maybe it was because i had already done psych ed before i went to um inpatient so i had like chilled out like as in i felt more comfortable but i found myself feeling very scared like i didn't feel like i had the tools to handle patients who i felt were like you know very like raw patient like as in because there were patients i would talk to you know like you could tell they were clearly on drugs and i would be scared i'm like i don't want to be like hurt like i'm like please i'm just the lonely mess today. and i just i didn't feel like i had the the skills to like handle patients who were maybe a little bit more <clears throat> however it did not stop them from sending med students to talk to those patients so i think that's where the disconnect came in because if i was talking to a patient who i felt like was not that it was okay like i felt okay but then it's like when i had to like you're sending me to a like, patient that you know like they had violence history like i'm just i'm just scared like as in i think it's normal to be scared but then i found that like it made me feel scared from like coming into like like coming in like every i'll just be scared like and I was like, I didn't like that feeling. Like, last feeling, I don't know whether this is not like that much of a con. It's just, I found that on site, compared to uh, other rotations, I found that they would get very bogged down on like certain details. And I think it's the, it's characteristic of the specialty. I think, you know, like every little thing is very, very important. Like they want everything written down and certain way like, but for me, me, it's just not my kind of person. <laughs> So me, I'll just be like, ah, okay. Like it just felt more like a, ah, I have to get used to this, like get, like writing like even the most minute things down. But I think overall, ah, I didn't even I didn't rate my neurology clerkship. So let me start from rating my neurology clerkship. Unfortunately, I didn't rate that clerkship in the video, but you should have watched it here. So if I would say I would give my neurology clerkship like maybe a five over ten, it was just not my thing. Psych, on the other hand, I would say psych was a solid like. 8 over 10. I think the biggest things that would that you know like that held it back for me were the fact that I felt so scared. Like I felt so scared a lot. But overall, like I just felt like the people were very nice. They were just amazing. Like it was it was a really good clerkship. It went well and I I had fun and I learned a lot while on psych and I I just it was a good time. That being said, if you want to go into psychiatry, if you're someone who's interested in psych, if you're someone who has struggled with like any psychiatric issues, let me know in the comments. Or you have how many who have struggled with psychiatric issues? Let me know in the comments if something I said is true, if something resonates with you, if something is like, hmm, is that is that really is that so? Is that so? If you're if you're someone who have if you are rotated through your psych rotations already, let me know in the comments. Okay, I look forward to hearing from you guys. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe in this video. And I look forward to seeing you in my other content. Okay? Bye.